So you've got homemade MREs, got beef ragu with pasta again. In the little OEX cook set. Welcome to Mersey. <laughs> We're here doing a wild camp on the beach. This is my friend Becky, who has never wild camp before, so Hello. we're breaking her sherry. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a glorious evening. Yeah, and it's absolutely stunning. Hopefully we'll get a decent sunset later. And uh, we'll bring you with us. That's it. <laughs> Wait again. <laughs> I mean, for it to work, you probably have to sit on the pillbox. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit! Ah, <laughs> oh, boo! See, you'll be glad you only spent two quid on that rather than five. <laughs> so I've got a Nutri-Grain strawberry bar for my dessert. <laughs> and then the last can of Weston's rhubarb cloudy cider. Rosie's pig. So we're both in our tents now. Becky's in a little red and I'm in the tent coffin. Um, I'd forgotten how snug this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> getting taking your clothes off, <laughs> get get into bed inside the tent is not not the best way. But once I was in, I couldn't be bothered to get out again. <laughs> so, but we've uh, yeah, we've had had our dinner, watched the sunset, um, chatted to some random people who are walking their dogs. There's also um, a tent down the end where I think they've been fishing. They, they were here when we got here and we were here swimming at like three o'clock or something and they were here then so they must have been here all day and now they're camping. Um, they had some friends come around and they, they've buggered off now. Um, there were some kids as well. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know if they had a fire or something but they seem to have disappeared. <laughs> I'm not sure how they got back. We haven't heard or seen them for a little while. So hopefully they've gone and they won't bother us. about half ten I think. I'll probably get some sleep ready to get up early for the sunrise which is at ten to five. My alarm's set for quarter to five so hopefully we won't miss it. <laughs> so um, that's good night for me and I'll see you in the morning. Morning. So <clears throat> we've got up at like 20 to 5 to watch the sunrise. Probably should have got up a bit earlier um, to get it properly, but um, so tired. Had an awful night's sleep. There's like there's like a fisherman's tent down the beach. They've been there pretty much all day yesterday, and they, a load of their friends turned up at like 10 o'clock, and then they all went at like, I don't know, I don't know what time it was, but it woke me up. It must have been like two, three o'clock in the morning. So there was them. Then there was like a bunch of kids just round the corner having some sort of like little party. And they didn't come with any kit at all, so they all left at silly clock in the morning. And then in Brightling Sea there was various parties going on. <laughs> it wasn't particularly peaceful. So we're both really tired. Going to spend probably when I get home the rest of the day in sleep. <laughs> But the sunrise was beautiful, um, so I guess it was worth it. <laughs> Just boiling up some water now to make a coffee. So I was in the Fox One. Didn't quite have enough pegs to peg it out properly, but in mind. <laughs> and then Becky was in Little Red. <clears throat> Don't think I'll probably camp in Fox again. It's um, I don't know, it's something to do with the size of the inside and it is I mean it's tight and I knew that it, we all know that those are small and that's the point of them but for some reason my body subconsciously doesn't sleep very well in there I had the same problem last time where I just almost like all tensed up so that when I 
I keep waking up in the middle of the night all like tensed up and in pain so I have to then swap sides and then I'm awake then I can't sleep and it, oh, it just goes on like a cycle of doom so um, I think the land shan's probably going to be making more um, trips with me I just have to get confident putting it up like quickly <laughs> using the little out kit stove to, this morning just because it's just easier <laughs> So, what coffee have you got? Um, this is caramel popcorn coffee. It's fancy. <laughs> With coconut oil in it. <laughs> Super fancy. <laughs> and I'm only wearing one glove. <laughs> <laughs> Looking fresh this morning. Aren't we both? <laughs> yeah. I've got a coffee pod thing, like a tea bag, but for coffee. And you're judging me. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> this is easier because then you haven't got to like put loose coffee into a bag and then bring that. You just bring a bag, like a tea bag. So. No, but I don't really like sweet coffee. So it's about 6 a.m. Well, just come up to 6 a.m. Um, I'm about to pack up. So, you would never know that we'd been here. We've even taken other people's rubbish. Well. Exactly, we picked up some other people's rubbish because they've obviously had a fire. Over here. And there's loads of cans and stuff, but <clears throat> we wanted to take more, but there's like bits of broken glass in there and things, so we don't really want to get to cut my hands. 